Hey there, I'm Parth Doshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. So this video is going to be on a very interesting topic that we are going to automate, which we very frequently use in our daily lives. So let's get, without any delay, let's get started. Now, this is my UiPath Studio X interface. So now we are starting with a new playlist on my channel that is going to be related to file activities in UiPath Studio X. So there are many operations we perform with file. Sometimes you want to zip the file, unzip the files, write a text file, read a text file, create files, create folders, and many other things we need to do. We need to check whether a folder or a file exists at this location after getting downloaded or not. So that are some validations that we perform. So in this video, we are going to kickstart this playlist with saying how we can zip and unzip the files. So let's get started. Now you can see to use the file activities, you need to go to this particular section. You can even definitely search over here, but going to that specific option makes it more easier. So now we are going to first see how we can zip the files and we are going to use that same zip folder to unzip the files. Okay. So now compare zip file name. So before that, let me show you which. So now content to zip can even be folder, can even be file. So I'm going to give files over here in which I'm going to use some word documents previously created. So you can see there are one, two, three, and four word documents. I can multiply select them in one go. So I'm just going to click on open. Now I have indicated the file names that I want to zip. Now, if you want to see this text, you see they are separated using this. If you can see over here, this and again, many more things. So let me save this, okay? And then text. So the compressed file name is going to be Word Documents, okay? So now, this compressed file I can give a value which I can save for later use so compressed info this 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 okay so this is basically going to save my this compressed file give your value a name so I'm going to keep this one let me save this and see whether I'm getting the zip files in my word documents folder or not so I have run the file and I don't think even it can take like more than 15 seconds or something. Let's say in the output, six seconds and you have your file zip. So we are going to go to our project folder. You see, you have it over here. And that you have your, all the word documents zipped. So now we will use the same process. What we'll do is, okay, so we'll go to this. One second, I'm going to go to our project folder. We are going to delete this, close this, and we are going to unzip it now. Okay, so files to extract this. See, there are multiple files to extract. Extract to a dedicated folder, extract, extracted contains folder. So when the contents are extracted, this is going to be destination folder. Let's give it a text unzipped files, save files to extract. I'm going to click on this. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my Okay, so I think we deleted that file. So use the save value. Full name includes full path. Okay. So let's see whether we are able to do this or not, or else we can files to extract. We can give text word documents since this is going to be my the file which we want to create. So let's run it and see whether it is working or it is giving us an error. 
Okay, so cannot find word documents. Stop. This is how the error was shown. Okay. So what are we going to do is we are going to use a saved value. Save. I think there will be already a zipped folder which we are going to delete. Close, see, and again, let's run the workflow. So this is like, we make mistakes and we learn. So let me open the project folder. Unzipped files, Word documents. You see, I have my all the Word documents unzipped. Word documents and we have the zip folder as well. So this is the very simplest and very easiest way how we can zip and unzip your files. I hope you learned something new in this video in UI Part Studio X and maybe you can implement this to automate your daily processes. Thank you for watching the complete video. Keep learning, keep sharing with your colleagues, with your friends and even with your cousins, whoever you want to. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more content on UiPath Studio X as well as UiPath Studio Pro. Thank you.